This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, when you travel up and down I-35, there's plenty of places to stop and take a rest. But there's one stop here in West called Slovacek's. It's got everything you need for your typical Texas travel, but its connection to the town of West and its past is what makes Slovacek a special stop on the Texas bucket list. When it comes to barbecue in Texas, sausage is one of the most popular items on the menu. And when it comes to some of the best links in the Lone Star State, Slovacek's is surely the way to go. If you're going home to uh, cook supper or if you're going out for cook, cook out at the lake, whatever, we, can, we, we got you covered. <laughs> Tim Raybroker is the owner of this Texas treasure and he grew up in the Czech German community of Westphalia. Since 1995, Tim has been the top dog at Slovacek's, but it all started in the small town of Snook near College Station when Uncle John Slovacek started the sausage company back in 1957. For 55 years, Slovacek's has been a sizzling success, all from a town with less than 600 people. It's a huge hit in the Brazos Valley, but now Slovacek's is expanding their links to the reaches of I-35. We're at Slovacek's in West. <laughs> Tim is a happy guy. For the past two years, he and his crew have been working like a hot dog on the Sausage Company's second convenience store, and the West location is one big kielbasa. They walk in and their mouth opens. So I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> With 22,000 square feet of space, you'll find a restaurant, plenty of snacks, drinks, a meat market, and of course, a bakery full of West kolaches. So when you're in West, you gotta have the kolache, right? You have to have the kolache. Yes, we have all, all flavors. We have anything from cottage cheese, pecan pie, poppy seed, cream cheese. Uh, we have uh, jalapeno sausage. We have hot chubbies. We have uh, <laughs> ham and cheese. We have pulled pork and brisket kolaches. All right, we have so. to ask some questions here. What's a hot chubby? A hot chubby is it's traditional. It's an Imachek sausage again. It's a, it's a little short, uh, looks like a chub sausage, and it's hot. The Nemechek name is nothing new in this neck of the woods. In fact, it's part of the reason Solacek now calls West home. You see, Nemechek's was the meat market of choice in West since 1896. But without any family to pass on the family business, Slovacek purchased the company and continues the tradition that started all those years ago by the kings of encased meat. That's absolutely the truth, because they were royalty back in the day. That, that, was, that was true. Now, I don't think Slovacek has made it yet, but we're trying. So <laughs> we'll, we'll be the prince, yeah, okay? Yeah. Growing up in this part of the state, Tim has a special understanding of what local business means to the community and how their history becomes part of the flavor of the folks that live here. Out here is the grinder. The Nemechex, it was purchased in about 1951. And this is what all the stuff that was still used up until about 2010. That's why Slovacek pays tribute to the town's first meat market by passing on the history of Nemechex. It's that old callback to the old way or a respect for the culture of where we came from. And that's what's really important. That's what's what we feel here because these folks are so much like us. But when you're dealing with food, that history lesson can come in casings and taste delicious. The ring bologna always was something that meant something different to everyone. The first thing Slovacek wanted to get right with its new location was the ring bologna tradition that Nemechek started several generations ago. It's a taste that locals wanted back in the worst way. We bought the recipe, we brought it back to Snook, and the boys, we started going through it, how do we make this? And we were reading the recipes off, and they were like throwing everything together and doing it, and it wasn't working out right. And I said, look at the recipe. You've got to, you've got to see it. You go through one process first and stop. Then you start the second step and do that. And when we did that, one after another, it came out the way it was supposed to be. It's not just a bunch of things you put together in one dish and make it. You, you, can, you have to do it step by step, process by process, and that's the old way. That's the, the old way, the Nemechek way, and that's what Slovacek has done, is, is bring that back, and we're bringing, bringing it on going forward for, for all the generations to hopefully enjoy. And enjoy it they have. 
Each week, thousands of pounds of bologna fly off the shelves. I guess pigs do have wings. It's very popular here, and, and believe me, that's it's one of my most favorite dishes. <laughs> As kids, you know, we've known it forever, and anytime we'd take a trip, we'd get green bologna cheese crackers, and off we'd go. You know, that was just the mainstay. We got a letter from the uh, Ernest Nemechek's granddaughter, and she wrote in there that my grandfather would be proud to know that, that his recipe goes on today and that, that this tastes just like it did back when I was a little girl. It's got to make so feel good. It makes you feel good, yes. You know that you're doing it right. Exactly. Because sometimes you're not really sure until you get something like that that, that tells you that you're right on. And Slomachek's was right on when it came to community support. During the construction of the store, the tragic blast at the West Fertilizer Plant killed 15 people and affected more than half of Slovacek's 120 employees. As the community continues to heal, the addition of Slovacek's couldn't have come at a better time. It's been a real blessing for the community. Um, as you know, the blast we had in April uh, affected a lot of jobs and, uh, and uh, the morale and everybody here. And, and Slovacek's has really been a, a, a godsend to everybody because, of course, they employ a lot of people here, but the atmosphere here is very upbeat and uh, there's a good time to be had, good food here, good fellowship, so everybody's really enjoyed it here. People understand it's more than just a meat market, it's, it's the whole community. So. It's keeping that small town community feel that matters most to Slovakia. It's that uh, Czech tradition of putting all you have into a business to make it successful. It brings back the heritage of West. It's, it's great. We're happy. We do things the old way. Go to the bakery, talk to the people over there. They'll make you feel at home. They'll answer your questions. They're just not off the street saying, what do you want? They're telling you, asking you, what do you like?